Today's topic is physiological jaundice. Physiological jaundice is one type of neonatal jaundice. The jaundice that happens within one month of age is called neonatal jaundice. Neonatal jaundice is also termed as icterus neonatorum or neonatal hyperbilirubinemia. It appears when the serum bilirubin level is 5 mg per dl or above. Generally in adult, when the serum bilirubin level is 2 mg per dl or above than that, it is diagnosed as jaundice. But in neonates, the level is 5 mg per dl or above than that. The yellowish discoloration is first seen on the skin of face. Then on the nasolabial folds, this is the nasolabial folds, the tip of nose and detected simply by blanching the skin with digital pressure in natural light. If you just press the skin by your fingers in natural light, you can see the yellowish discoloration. It is detected as jaundice by this. Almost 60% of term babies, neonates and 80% of preterm neonates have bilirubin level greater than 5 mg per dl which is called physiological jaundice in first week of life. And about 6% of term babies will have bilirubin levels exceeding 15 mg per dl which is called pathological jaundice. It is very rare, it is found only 6% of the term babies and the bilirubin level will be very higher exceeding 15 mg per dl. In physiological jaundice, the bilirubin level is within 5 to 15 mg per dl. But in pathological jaundice, the bilirubin level exceed 15 mg per dl. Today we will discuss only with the physiological jaundice. Next is the factors for physiological jaundice. What are the factors cause physiological jaundice? Increased bilirubin load on hepatic cells. When the bilirubin load is increased on the hepatic cells, it may cause jaundice. It uh, may be due to the increased volume of RBCs in polycythemia or due to the reduced lifespan of fetal RBC in the blood. So it is the increased bilirubin load on hepatic cells. Next is the defective bilirubin conjugation. When the bilirubin conjugation is defective, it may cause jaundice. It may be due to any decreased enzymatic activity. Next is the defective uptake of bilirubin by the liver from plasma. When the uptake of bilirubin is defective by the liver from plasma, it may cause jaundice. Next is the defective bilirubin excretion and it may be due to congenital infection. So these are the factors for physiological jaundice. Next is the characteristics of physiological jaundice. It may appear in between 30 to 72 hours of age but not before 24 hours of age. So not before one day of age, after one day when the baby is from 1 to 20 one to three days of age that is 30 to 72 hours of age the jaundice appears but it don't appear before 24 hours of age maximum intensity of jaundice is found on fourth day in term babies in the term babies maximum intensity of jaundice is found on fourth day and on the preterm babies it is on fifth to sixth day the maximum intensity the serum bilirubin does not exceed 15 mg per dl. We have already told that in physiological jaundice, the serum bilirubin level is the, in the range of 5 mg per dl to 15 mg per dl. So it does not exceed 15 mg per dl. May aggravated by prematurity, asphyxia, hypothermia, infections and drugs. This jaundice may be aggravated by those conditions 
if the prematurity asphyxia hypothermia infections and drugs are there in the babies so they can aggravate the jaundice next is the management of physiological jaundice how to manage the jaundice subsides spontaneously and no treatment is needed usually it disappears by 7th to 10th day in the term babies and by 14th day in preterm babies mother needs reassurance and encouragement for exclusive breastfeeding to maintain adequate hydration careful observations for signs of complications along with essential neonatal care is important so these are the management of physiological jaundice hope you will understand the physiological jaundice if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos